Of the hundreds and thousands of Canadian children who love to play hockey, he might have the best reason of all to be part of it. Coming up later tonight on the News Hour. It's his whole life. He's a hockey fanatic. Just another Canadian kid who loves the sport, not by a long shot. We'll tell you why hockey means so much more to him. It's often said that hockey is more of a religion than a sport in this country. But for one young player in Burnaby, it's almost a lifesaver. He suffers from not one, but two rare debilitating diseases. And for him, hockey has proven to be something akin to a miracle. Grace Key has the story. You wouldn't know from just looking at him, but Julian Delvasto lives with two debilitating diseases. But that hasn't stopped his 12-year-old from hitting the ice. Back in January, I can skate. I was like, the worst part on the ice always. I couldn't even do my skates. So, pretty good now. Julian suffers from a skin blistering disease called epidermolysis bullosa. He also has lymphedema, a disease that's disfigured his left leg and foot. He used to play soccer and baseball, but had to quit because the heat made the blistering worse. So it gives him an, an outlet that he really didn't have before. And we were hesitant because we weren't quite sure how the skates would treat his feet and his limbs, but it hasn't been an issue so far. Julian wanted to make a difference for other kids like him. So last month, for his 12th birthday, instead of presents, he asked his teammates and friends for money to donate to the BC Lymphedema Association. The fact that he didn't get gifts was not a big deal. It was more like, should I donate to the Epidermolysis Philosophy Association for the blistering or the lymphedema? I was really torn about that. So, uh, but in, in so far, the party was a lot of fun. So he didn't miss, miss the gifts at all. Julian brought in more than $500 to the Lymphedema Association. Next year, he plans on doing it all again for the other disease he suffers. Oh, I mean, he's my hero. So, I mean, you know, we discussed it together, and he was just very keen. Very, very keen. In other health-related news tonight, Swedish researchers have found that babies...